Matthew chapter 5 verse 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. The good kind of hunger. Today, more people are spiritually malnourished than ever before. Too many elements of society distract people from their eternal souls and encourage them to concentrate on material life instead. Caught up in this lifestyle, many people mistake the void they feel inside for physical hunger. They were never taught to recognize spiritual hunger or what to do about it if they do recognize it. Since they don't know what to do about the pain and loneliness, they reach for the quickest fix they know. Food, drugs, alcohol, or other material pleasures. If you have a rich spiritual life, you'll already be satisfied and fulfilled in the moment and won't feel the need to supplement your moment with things. We all have these moments at times. You wander to a summer field of fireflies and suddenly feel still and awe at the beauty of it all. You hold your new son or grandson in your lap and feel a great spiritual bond of love all around you. You're sitting in a pew Sunday morning and the light comes through the stained glass and fills your heart with joy. The moment is complete in itself. You don't think, my heart is full of joy and boy, do I wish I had a slice of chocolate cake in my mind. You can know the complete fulfillment of spiritual nourishment and know that if you will experience it regularly, you'll have no problem craving earthly things. In fact, we should all feel those transcendent moments more often than we do. I believe they are essential to physical, emotional, and spiritual health. And I think we spend too little time trying to achieve them and too much time meditating on our own problems. Get your mind off the problems and spend more time meditating on the one true source of nourishment, God's love. When was the last time you felt oh by God and filled to overflowing with joy? Trust God to meet with you this way on a regular basis.